Well, hello, commanders, engineers, and city planners. Uncle Jay here, back in Close to Home, episode 17. And we are back at the Desert Ice Lake. We're at the fishing hut. And uh, some stuff was done off camera. And um, if you haven't noticed, this is a uh, time-lapse episode. I'm doing some narration or voiceover, whatever you want to call it. And uh, right now we are working on the drill arm. We're getting our horizontal uh, hinges and pistons in so we can uh, jiggle stuff around. And uh, yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. So um, I think I'm going to be doing a little bit more off camera just to try to help with uh, progression. Kind of, you know, getting some stuff done. Not that I'm in any hurry to finish the series. I, I've been enjoying myself. But I feel that, um, you know, we're just having been making, like, a lot of progression, I guess. Hmm. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, let me, um, I'll probably just pop in and out every now and then just to, you know, talk about stuff. But, um, right now, just, uh, enjoy what we got going on. All right, we finally get to use my mining drone to uh, clear out the hole for the uh, for the nickel here, which I've made a GPS as a Nick's hole. So, um, yeah, I mean, we just kind of drill it out and, um, you know, get a little nickel with a bunch of stone. Now, I didn't put any um, stone discharge unit on uh, this drone. Just didn't want to overcomplicate it. I've also been trying to decide 
Do I build a mining rig and then just have a storage container where the nickel goes in the storage container and then just have a drone come pick it up? Or do I wanna just manually mine it this way using the drone and then dropping it off at the ice fishing hut and then just have one drone between the iron mine and ice fishing hut do uh, transfers back and forth. I really would like to automate everything, but I've never actually really successfully done that. So it's something we might um, do together in the near future. But I also would like to take this drone over to the um, magnesium area and get some magnesium. Also would like to figure out what happened to the ore bot because we kind of left it just hanging there in the air and I haven't seen its signal in a while, so I think it kind of maybe fell out of the sky. So I would like to see uh, kind of what happened to it. I kind of feel bad about it, to tell you the truth. Anyways, back to mining. Or, no, we're done mining. Back to the fishing hut.
So, I'd like to apologize for the uh, quality of the narration. I don't have any um, filters like I do in OBS to take all the jiggery pokery out of my voice. But um, as you can see, we've been having a power problem, so we need to get more power up. And uh, right about here is where Larry had way too many clan colas, and um, he backed into one of the windmills. And, uh, well, he landed um, with the feet sticking up. But um, he said, no, don't worry about it, Uncle Jay. I got this. I can get myself unstuck. We'll just kind of flop around a little bit, you know, shake up that Heineken a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, someone gave me a mini keg of Heineken and um, frosted mug. And, man, I was kicking them down. They were, uh, they were pretty tasty. But, yeah, we, uh, we didn't break anything on Larry this time. Nothing exploded. And uh, we got Larry uh, right side up. All right, Commanders, we're uh, back in uh, regular recording mode here. Um, I know it's a really weird, really weird episode. It's, I kind of half-assed it, but, you know, I wanted to play and record the other day, but I couldn't, you know, do this. So it's, you know, a compromise. Um, yeah, I got all kinds of strange um, Clang um, stuff going on, but Clang with a C, not Clang with a K. Hope, luckily, luckily so far, but, um, yeah, um, need to, um, extend this, but, um, as soon as I disconnect this, that loses power, and, um, yeah, I probably should put the magnetic plate on a different, on a different part there, but, uh, hmm, or I could add a battery to it, that would work. But you know what? I don't think we're going to do that right now. We're just going to go over what I did so far, and then we're going to call this an episode. It's a strange one. I know. It's a strange one. So, um, we have our control seat. This is going to be, these are going to be for the control the drill arm here. We have some timers in case we need them. A programmable block in case we need it. And then we have some event controllers. I need to set up event controllers to, um, for our power save mode. Because um, power is an issue. We come in here and just check our batteries real quick. Batteries. I probably should take one of these off stockpile and do this. So that way I can just quick look at it. Deplete it in two days. And that is with all of this and the sun. Well, the sun's over there now. So I could actually put more panels on that side. Hmm. I could do that. I could do that. I might raise these up a little bit and give them like little poles. But we have two full refineries. Granted, they're a small grid. They have uh, two speed modules and two uh, power modules. We have our... These assemblers are off of that uh, contraption I had over at the stone hole. Two power modules and then their speed modules on the back side. And... Uh, we got two tanks here. I actually started skinning it too. We have four O2H2 generators, two hydrogen engines. These hydrogen engines actually do make up the difference. I'm trying to work on uh, getting things plumbed. 
For some reason, the hydrogen is not transferring through this to fill this tank, and I don't know why. Because ice and hydrogen should go through here. I mean, this is all plumb. Unless I screw it up somewhere and up in here. Now, see, so that comes down there. That, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. I have to look at it. For some reason, I've also noticed I haven't been able to take stuff out of these through the main cargo container. So, something inside here must be wrong, which means this one is also going to be the same. So, that's something I'm going to have to look into and fix. So, I'm just going to load this hydrogen tank, that hydrogen tank. This I'm going to, I think, just fill with ice and um, nickel and silicon ore. This one has plenty of parts to left in it. And then we'll head back to the, uh, we'll head back to the um, stone hut. I'm not going to automate this yet. I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready to until we get, where is it? Where, there it is up on the hill there until I want to get a solar panel up on that and increase its range. And then get the um right there the um get that up and running completely and then um i think eight thousand on each one should be enough to get us control over here and we should be able to uh control stuff from the ice uh not the ice base you know from the iron mine base blah, blah, blah. words uncle jay words so i'm gonna fix this i'm gonna get this to extend actually I don't know if the silicone is over here. I know it's over here. Hmm. But that's why we got the swing arm to, uh, to move this out. And if you guys may or may not notice, I made this so it could be drug. We can drag this. It's mobile. You know, kind of like, you know, you, when the weather gets cold, the lake freezes, you, you drag out your uh, ice fishing hut with your truck or your snowmobile. And then, you know, in the summer when the ice melts, you, uh, you take this back off the ice so that's the whole concept of that you know real world applications applicated in game hmm yeah you know i'm trying to you know do real world stuff in game to kind of you know make it more um plausible realistic yeah. yeah 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 and um i added in two side thrusters oh i still gotta color those and then I added in the, um, actually, I don't think we can really see from down here. I kind of changed that a little bit. So, um, the, uh, camera, actually, here, let me just go in. Hello. Give me, uh, da, 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 camera, camera rear. No, I want mem, m, d, remote control, control. So here the camera is a lot more um, better being one block forward than it was before. So it helps with visibility. I mean, it's still not the greatest, but it is definitely a lot better than what we had. And um, we definitely need to go find the ore bot. I, I really want to go find the ore bot. I know it's, it's out. It's out yonder. Let's um, take these off real quick. Try to free up our HUD and MA. The ore bot is that out that way. Now we don't. I can't remote control this out there. So um, I could see. I don't have a seat for Larry, and I really don't want. I could put a seat on this, and we could just go out there real quick. But um, uh, I already did a rough edit, and we're adding about another seven minutes. Yeah, you know, what? I think we're just gonna call it, guys. I think we're going to call it right here and we need a um, thumbnail for the episode so uh, let's do a thumbnail real quick let's uh da, 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 da. Na, 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 get in your hole do this to get the whole truck in maybe hmm all right let's control ourselves I don't know where should we where should we put ourselves for this picture, guys? What do you think? Right here, right in front. Maybe I think that'll work. Or is that where the um the thing is for the? How about right there? I think that works, guys. All right. So until next time, commanders, engineers, and city planners. This is Uncle Jay.